Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to draw the above tangency problem. To start, first draw the horizontal line this way. After drawing the horizontal line, next draw a vertical line this way. After that, draw another vertical line that is 90 mm from this line you just draw. So you will mark a point 90 mm from this line first. Then you can now draw the line. So from the question, you observe that there is a horizontal line here. And the horizontal line is 32 mm from this horizontal line. So I will mark 32 mm from this horizontal line. Then I can, I can now draw the horizontal line. You have your layout already. Now it is time to draw the cycles. So you observe that at this point here, there is a cycle of diameter 40 mm, which is radius of 20 mm. And also here, there is a cycle of diameter 40 mm, which is radius of 20 mm. So I will take 20 mm from my ruler. Then I will draw the cycle. The bigger cycle here is having a diameter of 70 mm. That is a radius of 35 mm. So I will take 35 mm from my ruler, then I will produce the cycle. The smaller cycle here is having a diameter of 20 mm which is radius of 10 mm. So I will take 10 mm from my ruler and produce the cycle. Now we are done with the cycles. It is time to produce the tangential axis. You observe that the tangential arc here is an external arc. So we are adding the radius of this large cycle here and the radius of the tangential arc. So the radius of this large cycle here is 35 mm. And the radius of the tangential arc we are about to produce is 32 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 67 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of the cycle, that is this point. Then I can now cut my arc. Also, at this side here, I will add 20 mm, which is the radius of this cycle here, and 32 mm, which is the radius of the arc I'm about to produce. So that will give me 52 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 52 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of the cycle here. Then I can now produce my arc. The point where the arcs intersect is the center of the tangential arc. So I will adjust my compass to the radius of the tangential arc, which is 32 mm. Then I can now produce the tangential arc. Now, 
it is time to produce the lower tangential arc. You observe that the lower tangential arc is an internal arc. That is the lower tangential arc here is an internal arc. So to produce it, I will start from this side. So the radius of the lower tangential arc is 110 millimeter. That is 110 millimeter. So to produce it, I will minus the radius, which is 110 millimeter, from the radius of this cycle here. So I'm minusing 110 minus 35, which will give me 75 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 75 millimeter and cut an arc. I will place my compass on the center here. Now, let's go to this point. As, at this point here, the radius is 20 millimeter. So I'm minusing 20 millimeter from 110 millimeter. So that will give me 90 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to 90 millimeter. Then I will place my compass on this point and produce the arc. The arc should intersect the previous arc. So now, using a radius of 110 millimeter, I will produce the tangential arc. Now I will make bold the parts that are supposed to be pulled, then I will dimension my work. If you have any question regarding technical drawing and engineering drawing in general, you can message me on WhatsApp. The number displayed on the screen is my WhatsApp number. Also, if you find this video helpful, share the video with your colleagues. It will also be helpful to them.